Cast Highlight is a software intelligence solution for performing rapid application portfolio analysis on hundreds of applications in less than a week. It supports a number of different capabilities and use cases. This demonstration is focused on software composition analysis or understanding open source vulnerabilities and licensing risks. It's rare for organizations to produce 100% original code today when developing applications. Developers are frequently using third-party and open source components and frameworks to speed up the development process. But this introduces several risks. First, security vulnerabilities. Second, potential IP licensing risks. And third, technical risks due to the use of obsolete components. Cast Highlight helps identify all of these components and risks across an entire portfolio of applications and helps identify where to focus efforts on the most important risks to address first. From the Cast Highlight homepage here, we could analyze our application portfolio in a number of ways. The three primary tiles here demonstrate the three core capabilities of the platform. First, software health measures the overall health of a portfolio or individual applications by analyzing measures such as resiliency, agility, or elegance of the software. Cloud readiness is a measurement of how easy it is to migrate an application to the cloud and take advantage of platform as a service. For purposes of this demonstration, we're going to focus on this third tile here called open source safety. This is a measurement that combines an aggregate of three open source measurement risk scores. They include security vulnerability risks, IP licensing risks, and obsolescence or age risks. The example we're gonna walk through in this demonstration is a portfolio made up of 202 applications. So first, we're going to analyze the software composition at the portfolio level by clicking on the open source safety tile. This brings us to a series of portfolio level dashboards for analyzing software composition. This first one is a dashboard that has two measurements on it. On the vertical axis, we have business impact which comes from a series of surveys that are completed by application owners. On the horizontal axis, we have the open source safety measurement. Again, it's an aggregate score summarizing all of the risks associated with the use of open source, vulnerabilities, license risk, and obsolescence. Cast Highlight is unique in that it not only gives you information about open source risk, but it also helps you prioritize where to focus your efforts using the business criticality of an application. So in the case of this dashboard, we could very quickly identify the subset of applications that we should focus on first from a risk perspective, because we might want to focus on applications that have a lower open source safety score, but are also critical to the business. I could turn on these application names here and now identify some applications that I should focus on first from an open source risk perspective. In particular, we're gonna spend some time drilling into one of these applications here called Experiences. Before we do that, there's some other portfolio level views that are extremely relevant in Highlight. The Components dashboard gives me some summarized views of all the components in use across my entire portfolio of applications including information on which repositories they were coming from, the last used release date, and the number of versions of components. And then down below here, we see a list of every component used across the portfolio, along with some associated information such as the number of CVEs, the latest release date, the licenses, number of versions, and the technologies in use. Cast Highlight also has a unique timeline view that gives you an idea of every version of a particular component along with associated data. We'll look at this more carefully when we drill down to a specific application. The Vulnerabilities tab provides a view of all of the vulnerabilities across the entire portfolio. In this case, this portfolio has 96 critical, 173 high, and 157 medium severity critical vulnerabilities and exposures, or CVEs. I can sort by any of these columns 
And if I wanted to understand a little bit more about any of these CVEs and any of these applications, I could simply click on them and it'll bring me all of the references to the National Vulnerability Database and I can drill further into each of these to understand more about each of these critical CVEs. The final portfolio level view is the licenses view, which provides a heat map and information on all of the different open source licenses that are being used by different components throughout all the applications in my portfolio. Here's another example of where I can sort my list of applications by the business impact of each application and focus in on the most important applications to my organization versus trying to sift through a list of thousands and thousands of applications or components and identify where to start. In this example, we're gonna drill into one specific application here called Experiences that is higher on the business impact scale, has some vulnerabilities and also some risky licenses. We have now left the portfolio level view and now looking at one specific application. In this case, it's called Experiences. I now see here that I have some of the same information I had at the portfolio level, but now it's at the application level. I have two critical 12 high and eight medium severity vulnerabilities. I have two risky licenses that I should investigate. And I'll see that about 15% of my code is made up of third-party components, representing 146 unique third-party components. There's some additional metadata here, and I can scroll down and see each of the components that are included in this application. I'm gonna sort this list by the CVE column and bring my highly risky components to the top from a vulnerability standpoint. Let's look at one specific component. In this case, I'm gonna open up this component's timeline view, and I'll see that by clicking here, that I'm currently using a version that's several years old and has both a critical and a high vulnerability. If I scroll up, I'll see there's been several new versions released since then. And if I actually upgrade this component to a, the most recent version, I'll see that I've removed all of those vulnerabilities and I'll be in a much safer place. Another important data point is this dependencies column. What can often happen is that an application could have transitive dependencies or be dependent on other components. This could hide certain types of risks if I'm not looking at the dependencies of my components and only looking at the first level. If I click on the dependencies magnifying glass indicating that there are some transitive dependencies for this component, I'll see although the component itself does not use a risky license, when I look at the transitive dependencies, I see that it's dependent on a few other components and one of them does include a license that might be risky and I should investigate further. I wouldn't know this without having this transitive dependencies view. Now, some portfolios could be made up of hundreds or thousands of applications, each including dozens or hundreds of components. It could get quite overwhelming and difficult to sift through a grid-like view when the data becomes that large. Another way Highlight allows you to visualize software composition is by exploring dependencies using our Dependency Explorer. With this feature, you're presented with a much more visual view of the composition of the application. The application's in the center. Each one of these icons represents one of the components that are being used by the application. And I could very quickly see where I need to focus my efforts. For example, I could turn on some color coding for vulnerability status and see which ones have critical or high vulnerabilities through a nice color-coded visualization technique. I could do the same for license risk and also visualize any potential risky areas. This Explorer allows me to also interactively expand any of the nodes. So for example, if I wanted to explore the transitive dependencies of this component, I could simply click on it and I'll see that this component actually has a transitive dependency where the license risk is higher than the original component. So I might want to investigate that further to see if that's something that creates a potential legal risk for me. Finally, Cast Highlight allows you to export all the information we're viewing in several formats, such as PowerPoint, or by downloading the full software bill of materials into Excel.
This bill of materials automatically opens in Excel and gives me a summary of all of my open source components and third party frameworks in use, all of the transitive dependencies that I need to be aware of, and a much more detailed breakdown of everything that is in my software composition. In summary, Cast Highlight enables you to analyze your software composition and identify open source risks across an entire portfolio of applications. It helps you focus in on the most business critical applications and areas of risk first. It allows you to uncover hidden risks due to identification of transitive dependencies. And it can be deployed rapidly across hundreds of applications in less than a week. Thank you for watching this demonstration.